Hi guys, it's Lita. So, um, I'm kind of sick right now and my nose is a little bit stuffed up, so don't mind the fact that I sound like a turtle this entire time. She's so kawaii. Carla dancing. Anyway, so yesterday I was thinking about Disney movies, which is not out of the norm, and I realized that I love most of them an unhealthy amount, but there are some that I just really almost can't stand. Are you a Disney princess? Can we be Disney princesses together? But some of them, seriously, they are horrifying. I mean, there's no scintilla of comfort in the entire movie in some of them. Like, when I was watching Dumbo, I was stoked to watch Dumbo for months, and then I finally found it. And so I watched it, and about half an hour in, my face just went from this super happy to this and just a solemn, sad, sorrowful, melancholy face. Just, I mean, this entire movie practically was about this cute little baby elephant with a little bit of a birth defect that was treated like a handicapped, contagious leper. And then on top of that, he got taken from his mother, who was the only person who loved him. And they, like, chained her up. They bound her in chains. And she, okay, she was wearing a bonnet. Like, you don't, you don't chain bind an elephant mother who's wearing a bonnet. And like in Sleeping Beauty, there's basically her entire life is set up so she can die. I mean like, she's born and then the witch is like, oh, when she turns 18, I'm gonna steal her life away or whatever she says, I, I don't remember. But still, and she's like, okay, 18 is like a huge age. It's like a milestone in your life. I mean, you can, you can vote, you can buy swords, you can buy pornography. You can buy cigarettes, I don't know, so maybe maybe Aurora was into those things, but still, I mean, she turned 18 and then the witch was like, oh, freaking Maleficent, Maleficent, Malevolent, Malevolence, Maleficent, that's her name, Maleficent, she has a cool name though, I guess, and Beauty and the Beast, first off, why does Belle have the courage to, to just go in there? I mean, like, I, like, I do that all the time, like, watching shows, I'm like, why are they... Why are they going to go into that cemetery where there's obviously a werewolf or something like that, you know? Just like that, like, okay. I, if, I would be really concerned for my personal safety if I were to see a grimy abandoned mansion and go inside it, and if inanimate objects were talking to me, I mean, that would just be a, a thing. That would just end it, end it right there. This is a freaking lamp. Lamps don't speak. And oh, hey. Oh, a humanoid wildebeest has made its home here. Maybe I should go. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad that Belle was able to like, you know, release the beast from his his curse or whatever that keeps him in a in a in a wildebeest form, buffalo, whatever he was. And I mean, I'm glad she got him out of that because that's that's a good thing. That's good. But I mean, what if he had something else in mind? Like what if, you know, she she came into his house and he wanted to do the sexy and Snow White, there was nothing happy about her life. I mean, okay, it was good that she uh, she had the ability to, you know, um, have a companionship with birds that are blue colored and deer babies and bunny rabbits, snakes, whatever, whatever she talked to, I forget. But, okay, like she lives in a small house, cottage, mine? Coal mine? I don't know. Which, like, wouldn't she get the black lung or something like that from just like hanging around those guys? And, and okay, there's seven of them. I mean, they work all day. They're gonna require a lot of maintenance, you know. And they all have beards too. Like, it's just I don't know. There's nothing. Well, except for Dopey. Wasn't he like 10? ten? Ten years old? He looked ten. He looked like infant, like like a like a newborn. But anyway, so she, basically, all she has to do is talk to animals, which is okay, that's good. But then, uh, what else does she do? She just cleans and cooks and other generic lady things, which is horrible. I mean, I guess that movie was made in 1937, yeah, I looked that up. But still, like, I don't know, there's nothing happy about her life. And then all of a sudden, she, she's just really hungry, and this nice old hag comes into her house and is like, oh, I have an apple for you, just, just because, just eat it, just eat it. It's just an apple, it's a fruit. A fruit, a fruit-bearing tree fruit, you know, that fell off a tree and is going into your body. And so she ate it. And then she just dies. And then some creep comes along, like some guy that just decides, oh, that corpse is really beautiful. Hmm, might as well kiss it. 
it's just kind of weird. You know, I mean, if I if I were a nice, handsome prince, um, I, if I saw a nice, handsome, beautiful dead corpse, I would still not touch it. It just, it's a corpse. It's, um, that's all I need to say. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, well, Disney, whatever. Okay, just go on, go on doing what you do. And okay, the one thing I really don't like about Disney is the sequels. Yeah, I just don't, I don't think the sequels are that good. Like, I mean, okay, The Lion King 2 because Kovu. That's okay. That's, I'm okay with that. That's Lion King 2, one exception. But, I mean, Mulan 2, uh, what's it, what else? The Little Mermaid 2, um, Peter Pan 2, The 100 Dalmatians 2, like, what else is there to do? There's just, is it 202 dogs? Do they just do more doggy things? Just, is that it? Is there just 202 Dalmatians and more dog stuff? I don't know. That's a lot of kibble. Just think, just, just saying, like, I mean, that's a lot of, that's a, Big commitment, 101 dogs. Like, how did she even fit that many, like, dog larvae, larva? It's not, it's not the right term. In her stomach, I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, you guys, so leave a comment or tweet me or post on my Facebook how you feel about Disney movies and what are your, what are your um, loves and and not loves about Disney movies? I know they're all really good, but still, just, just let me know. And thank you guys for watching so so much and for supporting me and stuff like that and sorry I have a, my nose is all stuffy and stuff and Jojo shed in my nose <laughs> but um so yeah just uh, remember to rate this thing thumbs up do we still do thumbs up yeah remember to like this video and to subscribe and stuff like that and then um, my live shows every Wednesday at 5 o'clock p.m. California time on younow.com slash shows and I'm also going to be making more Keek videos pretty soon on keek.com slash ladybunny L-E-D-A-B-U-N-N-I-E and stuff so alright I love you guys so much bye